Hey guys, Wendy29 here with the second video in my Rubik's Cube tutorial series. This will be going over basic notations and algorithms. If you don't know what either of those two things mean, this will be you will probably need to watch this video. If you know the ba and if you are only trying to learn beginner's method, you will need to watch this. If you already know beginner's method, you should already know these and can skip on to the advanced notations video in order to learn some more advanced methods. So, beginners. So, be so basic notations and algorithms. What an algorithm is, is a set of notations that is used to move the faces of the cube in, in order to get you your desired result. For example, if I grab my cube, if I were to do an uh, algorithm, I would you follow my notations, doing whatever they told me, in order to move the cube. Like this, for example. And it would do whatever I wanted to do. Obviously, if I wanted to do it backwards, I could. And I actually failed to do it backwards, as you can see here. <sighs> Hold on. I will, I want this cube has to be like fixed for these tutorials. What? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a minute. Okay. I'm back. Sorry about that. If I just kind of charge this, will be easier. I just need to kind of fix my cube. Oh, as you can see here. So anyways, as I was saying, that is essentially what an algorithm is. How to move the cube to get it to do what you want. So, algorithms are made up of notations. What a notation is, is essentially telling it what tells you to move its face and how to move it. So, you, you will always hold the cube with one side facing you, as so. The side that's facing you will be known as front, or F. The side facing up is known as up or U. Down, D, down or D. Then, in this example, green is opposite to blue. So, blue is B or back. Orange here is right or R. And red here is L or left. Now, when you're seeing a notation, it will always have the side as the layer, capital. And then... It may or may not have an apostrophe. If it does not, then it is just known as F or front, for example. And you would move it clockwise, as you, like that. Now if I fix that. So for example, if it said U, you would, holding this, you would look it up and move it clockwise. Or, for example, if it said right, look at right, clockwise. Or even if it said back, you would look at back and move it clockwise accordingly. So for example, because front clockwise would be this way, you would not move back, like, you would move back this way, which would be, if I move back clockwise, as you can see, this is moving that way, which on this side seems counterclockwise. But, you would always move it clockwise as if you were facing that side as front. But, you would always keep it as back, or left, or right, or wherever it was accordingly. If it does have an apostrophe, it is known as prime, which means counterclockwise. You basically just move it opposite, the way you have moved it normally. On occasion, you will also see, like, F2, or U2. If it has a 2 directly after it, then what that means is instead of moving it once, you move it twice. Now, because that's 180 degrees, as you can see, I moved yellow to the bottom, right to the top, orange, red. I can move it counterclockwise twice, and it would still be the same orientation, because it's going 180 degrees. So, those are the basic notations. You have your sides, front, right, um, left, up, down, back. Then you have your primes and normals. So, for example, if I wanted to move 
right prime left down to I would do right counterclockwise for prime so right prime left clockwise for left then down two so down two or of course I can just do two this way and it would still work the same one two see now by doing one completely backwards you can obviously just fix it up so if I do right prime and I want to correct that I just do right if I do right prime left to correct that I just do left prime right they can be kind of difficult to get the hang of but once you kind of like it's basically very much memorization you just have to whatever side you're facing just remember that as front and figure out where the other ones are in coordination then just re then just keep m my keep in mind what clockwise is and you should get it down quite easily that is basic notation and algorithms for Rubik's cube that is all you need to know for the beginners method the if you would like the next video going up should be on advanced notations such as s and small f and x and so on and so forth those are more advanced and those are not necessary for beginners method those are more for to look OO, to look PLO, um, Fried Friedrich and uh, more advanced just but for beginners this is all you need to know if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below my name is Wendy29 and I'm out peace